have really used the peer reviews as a learning journey for ourselves and also as a way to improve the quality of our manuscript, but also for our research programs. So I think the peer reviewers, the quality of the peer reviews were really superb. I expect all the sources to be extremely vetted. I expect only the highest quality of data and research to be published. So I think the scientific peer review process is extremely efficient in doing that. Our ultimate goal is for all of our submissions to include a patient or advocate uh, as a reviewer. Uh, that's something that we'd love to achieve. Anytime somebody comes out with a journal, and, and, and a peer-reviewed journal not, nonetheless, it just says, this is something that's here. It's not just something a passing, that's a passing fad. I think what you see is a, a diversity of skill sets uh, and, and training that really come to bear on an article that you submit. Um, and we're able, really able to see an improvement of quality. So people will, will comment on different aspects, such as its usability, uh, statistical qualities, but also make you think outside of your own head and try and say, well, how would a, a non-expert reader in your field come and approach this? How can we um, make sure the details are sufficient so that other researchers in your field who want to replicate this work could actually do so? And how can we ensure that through the use of things like supplemental data tables or repositories, that we can actually open up this research so that it can have a longer lifespan than just the paper. But actually, you get to feel like when you're doing a peer review, you are working as a collaborator with uh, the researchers who submitted the work. And normally, um, I think that the place where it comes from is to say, you know, all work has limitations. Here are the things I think the authors could do to improve the quality of the work and make it you know, accessible to as many people as possible. So the open peer review system uh, as well, that's always um, helpful to kind of get the, the paper out there and, and kind of reviewed as, as, as quick as po possible. Some journals that I publish in um, that, you know, that I have published in the past too, is either like, it's either you're right or you're wrong. Um, no research is like that. No, no articles like that. And how I also have changed the way I review papers is to try to be more developmental. So this is where you're at, but this is what you would need to do to uh, make it a higher quality or better science. What about junior faculty? And I think I take I take uh, the role of reviewing articles. Real, it's really important because we're also helping to raise the next generation of scientists. So instead of being insulting and nasty. Um, I try to be very developmental. This is this is what you did. This is what's right. And this is what you need to do. And then you see that people will go through the process and that they improve their um, science or tighten it up or answer things or explain things that weren't clear before. And then it goes from a product that uh, into something um, that's really good. All of the feedback was um, uh, by the reviewers and the editor was very good. And I think it really improved uh, our paper and made it also more interesting, uh, more, more to the point and contextual with uh, what we were trying to communicate.